Whoa. It's just you, okay. I guess since you're already here, uh, let's talk about maybe um, JPEG versus RAW. You can have it if you want it. It's gratis, it's for free. There ain't no strings attached, no, there ain't no catch. Take my love, take my love, take me. Okay, so where to start? Um, the other day, uh, I've posted a video about taking um, raw photos with your iPhone um, and what's the deal with this RAW versus JPEG um, most of you asked me uh, in direct messages uh, what should I do should I take JPEG or RAW uh, files uh, into a cons consideration when I approach to taking a photo so First things first. Um, if you your cameras are, is supporting um, RAW format, uh, I don't see the reason why not to use a RAW file. Uh, if you want to take a photo, your photos to another level, always shoot in RAW. Uh, there are times where you want to shoot JPEGs. But, um, for example, uh, sports photography, uh, high-level pro sports talks take JPEGs and RAW files uh, in the same time, and JPEGs are only for the press booth to push it out wirelessly most of the time to publish this. Uh, on the live event and the raw files uh, are kept for the photographer to tweak um, this this photo in post-production and make this photo very very uh, unique so to say um, because camera whether it's a DSLR mirrorless or your phone uh, when you shoot in JPEG directly uh, the camera makes this judgment call whether it's on the highlights or the shadows uh, which white balance to pick to choose and this information that camera decides to keep are baked in this photo you can't change it you you you, you are stuck with this uh, on the raw file uh, on the other on the other hand you have the freedom to pick and choose because raw files always keep all the information lights shadows dark areas light areas um, and you in your software whether it's lightroom capture one or other you name it you can choose the white balance um, exposure to illustrate this I will take raw and JPEG and put this film camera and instant polaroid camera and on this side you have raw files and uh, your negative you can uh, th that you can develop and on this side you have JPEGs and instant polaroid photos that you have only one copy you can't you can't change anything on this so this is just like okay fair enough you can put this polaroid camera to the hand of the professional photographer and he can pull it off but 50 percent of good photos is made in camera the other half other 50 percent is development of the software or your darkroom or whatever you you choose to uh, so for me 
raw is the format uh, to to begin with and to to stick with. Okay, so this is my approach. I personally use only raw format. I shoot only raw. I shoot only in maximum file size raw because my camera uh, allows me to choose small, medium, and large. So I I, sh I always shoot on maximum large raw file, and then I take my time to develop these photos inside of the Lightroom uh, with some uh, Photoshop retouching techniques and when I have this finished product then I convert it to JPEG file and then send to the client so this is my my approach to the problem or to the subject I would say and I'm very curious uh, what's your thoughts on this topic and feel free to comment down below uh, if you like this video please hit the thumbs like thumbs up button and if you haven't already please do subscribe here somewhere and if you are part of my uh, subscribers squad and you uh, haven't checked this bell icon uh, in this area uh, please do so, you will receive a notification every time I upload the video and so I hope you like this. See ya!